My name is David Ades. I offer life coaching at a pop, pop, competitive rate, and today I'm talking about am I doing my best, which is a question about am I making the most of myself? Because if I'm doing my best, then I'm making good use of my time and my energy and my emotions, and this allows us to feel confident about the journey that we are undertaking. If we can confidently answer that, yes, we are doing our best, regardless of what is or isn't in our lives, regardless of who we are or aren't, regardless of where we are on our journeys, if we can confidently answer yes, then we will be confident about ourselves. It's not about answering yes, because the answer might be no. It's about getting to the point where you have the self-knowledge required to answer this question accurately. Yes, kind of the ideal situation is to always be answering this question on the affirmative, but let's not uh, subscribe to ideals. We want to be able to say, oh, I'm doing my best all of the time. And some people believe this. Everybody's doing their best all of the time. But the people who believe this don't know themselves very well because it is oftentimes that we hold back on purpose from doing our best for a myriad of reasons. Whether it's out of bitterness and spite, we're withholding, we're neglecting, we're scared, we're anxious, we don't have the energy, we don't feel like it. All of us, to some extent, are deciding not to do our best uh, from time to time. So uh, let's move forward. It isn't about answering this question in the affirmative. It's the ability to answer this question accurately. Because not only if you know if you're doing your best and the answer is yes, if you know that, yes, of course you can be confident about yourself. But if you also know when you're not doing your best and you're sure of it, I'm not doing my best, then you can be confident about, well, then I better change it to doing my best, right? This is self-mastery, which is maybe the only way that confidence is produced. Mastery over ourselves. The only thing that we can have, I won't even say total control, because we can't. Mastery is not about control. Mastery is about getting to know yourself well enough and how to negotiate with the self that you happen to be. You don't have full control over yourself. You have to master your awareness's relationship with yourself. How much do you have to give to it? How much can you ask it to give to you to change and to be more disciplined or to be more open or to be more? This is negotiation. And when you get a fluid uh, symbiotic, mutually beneficial uh, negotiation between your awareness and yourself, that's uh, self-mastery. Whether it's pleasant or not, it's not about being pleasant. And it's not about getting more of what you want. And it's not about having control. In fact, a lot of this life is surrendering control. You must surrender, for example, to your needs. Basic physical needs, you have to meet them. And then hopefully you surrender to higher needs. Like you need self-esteem. You need social feedback. You need connection. You need love. You need strength. You need support. Hopefully you surrender to these needs so you are open to pursuing the fulfillment of these needs. And this is uh, at least one degree of, of self-mastery, one aspect of self-mastery, dealing with our own needs. And self-mastery comes from self-knowledge. You need to get to know your needs. You need to heal your mind and your heart so that your needs have space to flourish within you. Let's continue, which uh, is the second time I've said that. That's fine. There's some room for tangents here. I have a need for tangents, and I work to satisfy that. If you can answer no confidently, you will be able to adapt. That's, what's li that's what life is about. Life is about adaptation. So you're doing your best. Well, there's no adaptation, so you can rest easy right? You'll try again. Maybe you succeeded. Maybe you failed. Whatever. Cool. I'm doing my best. That's all I can ask of myself. I'm not doing my best. Okay. It's time for adaptation. And of course, it's successful adaptation that makes us feel good about ourselves. You are a creature that requires good adaptations in order to feel successful in a certain relationship or in a certain environment, in the environment of yourself. You have to be adapting or you cannot feel good about yourself which is why rigidity is such an unpleasant experience because there's a lack of what your brain needs to feel successful. You're not adapting. You think you figured it out or you've been hurt a lot. So you, you protect yourself too much. You play too safe. You do the same thing all the time. Think the same thoughts all the time, 
right? You're protecting yourself, but you're also protecting your brain from feeling successful, which is uh, by making positive adaptations to the inner world, to the outer world, relationships, environments, activities, needs, uh, desire, things of this nature. It is even the ability to answer confidently when you don't know if you're doing your best. In everybody's lives, the, well, let's say in everybody's lives, new territory is when we will be unsure if we are doing our best or not. We don't know in new territory, new relationships, new environments, new circumstances, new activities. We don't know what it feels like yet to be doing our best. Sure, we can try our hardest or give our best effort, but it will take some time until we can confidently say, well, now I know what it feels like or looks like to do my best, and now I know what it feels like or looks like to not do my best. We have to be okay with that uh, gray area, which is probably the largest part of life. Because when your life, when you have attained for yourself a dynamic enough life, there is enough life in your life, there's enough social life, there's enough mental life, there's enough emotional life, there's enough physical life, there's enough financial life. When you get into life, you say, you know, I, I better get a little active, get myself out there, get people in here, get activities out there, take some classes, or, you know, I've got to do a little bit more, got to participate uh, more. Then we won't know if we're doing our best or not. Uncertainty is an inevitability. Life is uncertain. Can we maintain self-mastery even in these moments? Take the morning, for example, which is a very gray area, depending on how you sleep, depending on when you got to bed, depending on what's going on in the back of your head and whether it came out tonight in a dream or whether it woke you up in the middle of the night, depending on how you're feeling in the morning. Am I doing my best in the morning or am I not doing my best in the morning? I'm not sure because I don't know for where I'm at right now in my life. I don't know what my best should look like. And this is an interesting take. Because when we're trying to think about what our best should be, like this is what I think it is and this is what I want it to be, we're missing the, the deeper layer of where I'm doing my best actually comes from. I'm doing my best as a feeling. I'm doing my best as an experience. If I know that I'm doing my best, it's because I, I know what it feels like to do my best. If I know that I'm not doing my best, I know what it's, it's because I know what it's like to feel like I'm not doing my best. It's not a matter of uh, outcomes that I'm getting or not getting. It's not a matter of whether the signs of me doing my best or not. That doesn't make any sense. The signs of me doing my best are how I'm feeling in my experience. So this brings us to sometimes things are holding us back that we can't control. And we haven't realized how much control or how little control we actually have. So we're not sure if we're doing our best. You might take a relationship, for example. Is this relationship going through speed bumps because I'm not doing my best? Or am I doing my best, but it's still going through speed bumps? And am I willing to first admit that I'm not sure? Be comfortable in that uncertain area. Be able to stomach uncertainty, which to some extent is a uh, kind of symptom of character strength emotional maturity? And am I willing to accept that I might not be able to do anything beyond my best? I don't want to burn myself out. I don't want to sacrifice myself too much, like go beyond what my best is. I don't want to give way more than what I feel like is my best, because at that point, I will be emptying myself out. I will be giving too much of myself. I've given my best. If it doesn't work out, maybe that's okay because I don't want to vomit up my own soul so that something goes better. If me keeping my soul and doing my best is not good enough, so be it. I would rather keep my soul and, and uh, you know, accept that this is the best I can do and things might not work out and I don't have that much control than take a piece of my own human spirit and say, oh, if, if my best isn't good enough, here, here's all of me. Like, I hope that you're responsible with it, or I hope that you give it back to me, or I hope that this works out. Sometimes life requires this depth of change. It does feel like we are offering up such a deep part of ourselves or such a great extent of ourselves that we're not really sure if it's a good idea or not. Change, 
there's so much change in life, and change can actually feel evil. It's quite a strange experience to experience change. Strange and change, that rhymes. Yet, uh, we continue on, we learn from our mistakes, we lose, we grow, we fail, we succeed, and the journey continues. So, uh, I hope I've uh, illuminated or elucidated or uh, other edated words. I hope I haven't sedated you by being boring. I hope that I've brought some light to uh, this, this, uh, this concept. Am I doing my best? It's a feeling. It's an experience. If you're questioning too much whether you're doing your best or not, you might be too far from home, not close enough to your actual experience of yourself, not close enough to your own feelings, your own subjectivity, your own subjective experience of this life and of yourself. You might be alienated from yourself for a number of reasons, or you might be too aversive to uncertainty. Because during the periods in life where we're not sure whether we're doing our best or not, the kind of only way to get closer to the answer so we can make an adaptation is just to open up, to be curious about, well, how am I feeling? Do I feel like I'm giving a good effort or do I feel like I'm holding back for some reason? Or am I, am I just that unsure that all I can do is just bear witness and take things a little bit further and see how they might go and try to make adaptations along the way? So, uh, there you have it. You can schedule a free 45-minute session with me by clicking the first link in the description. Reach out to me through Instagram, at Coach David Ades, or through my email, david at dyingtolive.blog. Like this video if you do like it. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe to see more. And I will talk to you soon.